Specters, welcome back to the Mass Effect Lorecast. This is your host Tom, or Robots, and I'm here. Well, not really by myself. Sam can, couldn't make it tonight. He's a little under the weather, but I am fortunately joined by some of our patrons because it's the end of the month. It's the end of March 2023 already. How did that happen? And we're going to celebrate the end of the month with a trivia show. We're doing trivia night, and this is going to be a blast. And I have to welcome all of, our, all of our patrons to the show. Well, I'm going to go through each of you, give you a second to just say hi to everybody. We've got Ed Boy. Ed Boy, welcome to the show. Hi, nice to be here again. Yeah, welcome back. And then Apollo. Hey, good to be back. And that Spectre J is here. Hey, happy to be back. I missed you guys. Yeah, dude. Welcome. And then Genesis. I'm always here. <laughs> she just lives here. She's oh, she just stays permanently in the in the Zoom chat. It's weird. It's really weird, Jen. You need to find a hobby. And then we have <laughs> Turbo. <laughs> Turbo Toboggan. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Hey, I'm so glad you guys could make it. I have put together three different rounds of questions. We're starting starting out easier. It's going to get harder as it goes. And then the final round, of course, is going to be lots of points. So this should be exciting. Everybody has sheets of paper to keep track of their own their own points and their own answers. This is going to be an honor system, and we're just going to roll with it because... That's how you got to do things on the internet, I guess. Um, although my wife was like, you know, there's some, there's like a Jeopardy app you could use and put answers. Maybe I'll play around with that stuff for the next time we do a trivia thing. So, all right. Are you ready to go? Is everybody ready? I feel it. I feel, uh, I can just yeah. see it in your faces. Uh, like, yeah, absolutely. You're, you're giving each other death stares. You're kind of staring each other down. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. All right. Round number one, each of these is worth 100 points. And don't shout out the answers, just write the answers down. These should be fairly simple. So for example, the first question is, question number one, who is, or what is the name of the main protagonist in the Mass Effect series? What's the main protagonist's name? Everyone's like, yeah, we got this. So I told you, told you it was gonna be pretty easy. All right, that's the first question. Everybody's written that down. Number two, who is the main antagonist in the Mass Effect trilogy? Who or what? Main antagonist in the Mass Effect trilogy. There are multiple antagonists, but what's the main one? I have a dog here at my feet, like eating something. I think somebody gave Oreo a treat. I feel like that's like a trick question. (laughs) (laughs) Don't overthink it. It's probably the simple answer. Don't overthink it. Uh, Question three. What is the name of the protagonist's ship? And you don't have to be super specific with like which version of the ship, just the general name that applies. People in chat are answering uh, funny answers. Welcome, chat. I'm so glad you guys are here. All right. Main atta- uh, main protagonist sh- uh, ship. Question four. What is the name of the organization that Commander Shepard works for at the start of Mass Effect 1? Who does Commander Shepard work for? Who does number two work for? That reminds me of Austin Powers. Classic. Classic joke. Bathroom humor. All right, great movie. Every, great movie. I need to go back and watch this. I was explaining to my son the whole thing where he's in the golf cart in the underground base and somehow gets stuck sideways and is doing like three point turn, but is just running into the both walls. And there's no way that oh. the vehicle could have turned to fit there in the first place. Genius. Yeah, the, that's like a video on YouTube of someone uh, like superimposed Austin Powers in the Mass Effect and they do that with yes. the Mako. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah, are great too. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Number five. What is the name of the space station that serves as a hub for the primary races in the galaxy? The name of the space station that serves as a hub for the primary races in the in the galaxy. How many questions are in round one? Twelve. There will be twelve okay. questions. So we're almost halfway through. All right. Question number six. What is the name of the alien race that is responsible for the creation of the mass relays? What is the name of the alien race that is responsible for the creation of the mass relays? 
Everybody's writing answers down. The three point turn scene is also part of the novel. There's Rob the Princess says there's a there. I guess there's a novel for the for those movies. Um, all right, question number seven. Every, how are you guys feeling so far? Feeling good? Pretty confident about all these. All right. Good. What is the name of the artificial intelligence that serves as the Normandy's onboard computer? What is the name of the artificial intelligence that serves as the Normandy's onboard computer? Writing the answers down. All right. Question number eight. Which Mass Effect game introduced the multiplayer mode? Which Mass Effect game introduced multiplayer? See, I see the I see the wheels turning. I see the looks in the hmm in the mm, in the uh, uh, and then the ah uh, yeah that one. Uh, I saw some of that going on. All right, question number nine. Which alien race is known for their brutal and violent behavior and many races were concerned with their rate of reproduction? So far, not too hard, right? These are pretty, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So alien race known for their brutal, brutal and violent behavior and many races were concerned with their rate of reproduction. All right, question number 10. Who is the leader of the human supremacist group or organization Cerberus? Who is the leader of the human supremacist organization Cerberus? That is a hard combination of words to say. Words is hard. All right, you guys are ready for the next one? Two left. What is the name of the ancient alien race that is responsible for creating the Citadel? What is the name for the ancient alien race that is responsible for creating the Citadel? Who made the uh, Citadel? What? I'm getting funny looks. What was that? Uh, allegedly. Alleg allegedly. According to what most would consider to be fact. But, of course, there's always, you know, there's always other stuff out there to make you go, well, maybe, maybe not. All right. All right. Final question. What does Sam call his character in his most recent playthrough where he seeks to make as few Paragon or Renegade decisions as possible? This one is particular to N7 the Legend in his live streams. What does Sam call his character in his most recent playthrough where he seeks to make as few Paragon or Renegade decisions as possible? I uh, and who also name, looks... Uh, like the name name or just like the kind of name of the playthrough uh if if you the, i have two options here that are possible for answers so okay so i don't watch this, this stream. so you can you can give the specific name or just kind of what he refers to him as uh and he and he looks a little bit like me for some reason accidentally he looks a lot of bit like you yeah ac accidentally <laughs> looks like me i'm still more handsome though uh, and chat, feel free to chime in with your thoughts and uh, contestants, uh, especially for the next two rounds. Make sure that you have, if you have the stream up, close the chat window so that you don't either get the right or wrong answers from chat, because who knows, maybe they won't get them right. All right. You ready to go through these? Let's go through. I'm going like to go ahead. I'm going to say that I crossed out my answer for number six and I'm changing it just because I keep thinking about it more. Okay. So I'm marking that down now so All right. I don't get called a cheater later. No, that's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and update it. Now's the chance. Now's your time. All right. I'm going to read the questions again, and then you guys can shout out the answers. And if you got the right answer, give yourself a check mark, 100 points, and we'll move forward. Here we go. The first question was, who is or what is the name of the main protagonist in the Mass Effect series? Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. There you go. Commander Shepard. 100 points. Everybody should have gotten that one, right? 100 easy, free easy points. <laughs> grunt. <laughs> Chat says grunt. Well, for some of us, it was grunt. Uh, question number two. Who is the main antagonist in the Mass Effect series? Who or what? The Reapers. The Reapers. The Reapers. Yeah, the Reapers are the main bad guys. Number three. What is the name of the protagonist's ship? 
the Normandy. Normandy. Yes, the SSV Normandy, but as long as you put Normandy, you get credit for that. My home away from home. (laughs) (laughs) Question four was, what is the name of the organization that Commander Shepard works for at the start of Mass Effect 1? The Alliance. The Alliance. What's the full name? The Alliance Navy. The Systems Alliance is actually the full title, but I'll take Alliance. That's fine. Everyone just calls it the Alliance. (laughs) But yeah, the Systems Alliance would have been the full answer. Question number five. What is the name of the space station that serves as a hub for the primary races in the galaxy? The Citadel. Citadel. The Citadel. And that that answer was given away in one of the questions later, which is always fun. Uh, So yeah, Citadel, 100 points for that. Question number six. What is the name of the alien race that is responsible for the creation of the mass relays? I wrote down the Leviathans and the Reapers. I just wrote down Repos. It was the Protheans. I wrote Protheans, but I thought the Protheans did say that it was there before them. Uh, the answer that I got, I got was Pro- Protheans when double checking this online and Sam double checked these as well. And he knows better than I do. So we're going to go with Protheans. Yeah. I think that's yeah. co- the commonly understood answer to be the Protheans. But I wrote, so I like it. So there you go. If you have Protheans, you get a hundred points. Question number seven. What is the name of the artificial intelligence that serves as the Normandy's onboard computer? ED. ED, E-D-I, E-D. Ants Defense Intelligence. Question number eight. Which Mass Effect game introduced the multiplayer mode? Mass Effect three. Three, Three. yes, three. That is correct. All right. Number nine. Which alien race is known for their brutal and violent behavior and many races were concerned with their rate of reproduction? The Krogan. The Krogan, that's right. You guys are just racking these up. It's all, the whole thing's going to be this easy. Don't worry about the questions coming up later. Don't, you're just going to be, it's all just easy. Uh, Question number 10. Who is the leader of the human supremacist organization Cerberus? Tim. Timmy. Tim. (laughs) The elusive man, yes. Timmy. (laughs) Timmy. What, what, What is his full name? Just Tim. Jack Hart. Oh. Tim the Enchanter. Tim the Enchanter. Was it Jack Harper? That might be a question later, so I'm not going to. believe it is Jack Harper, but yeah, that's not a question later. Don't worry. Uh, (laughs) If you said Jack Harper, then you get get points for that as well. Uh, Number 11. What is the name of the uh, ancient alien race that is responsible for creating the Citadel? Is that the Leviathans? It said the Protheans again. It's also the Protheans. Yeah. Oh. Protheans did both. I thought there was no. That's what I was going to write. I thought there was no way you were going to ask the same thing twice. It's tricky. It's I tricky. Myself huh? out of it because yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them are the Protheans. And question twelve: What does Sam call his character in his most recent playthrough, where he seeks to make as few Paragon or Renegade decisions as possible? Neutral Shepherd. Yes, Jerry. Oh. or Jerry. Yeah, Jerry or Neutral Shepard. <laughs> yeah, either of those will work. <laughs> yes. All right. Add them up. Let's see how many points we are at. How many All points? Of them. All of them. Let's go through. Uh, Ed, how many points do you have? 800. 800. Apollo, what are you at? I have a thousand because I know nothing about multiplayer. So you're going to kill me if you ask oh, about no. it. Oh, no. Apollo has a thousand. Jay? Oh, Jay's muted. Unmute yourself and then we'll be able to hear. There you go. They got 1,100. I got six wrong. 1,100. Genesis, you got all of them? I did. Genesis is at 1,200. Turbo? You didn't. You, ch- you said you changed oh, Drake. I got 12 for what? 12? You all 12? Oh, nice. Congratulations. I almost got eight wrong. I, I, I changed it when Jen was doing that. Yeah. As long as you changed it before I gave you the answer. Instead oh, of yeah, after I give you the answer, you're fine. So twelve hundred is twelve hundred. Worried about the, the you guys are t- tied. We've got it tied for first place, and we're moving into the second round. First, we're going to go thank our patrons, but get ready for this because the next round, each question is worth three hundred points. So there's a lot of chance to catch up here, but uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Message coming in. Patching it through. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. I like the sound of that. 
So big thanks to our patrons, to all of you and all of the other patrons who have supported the show and helped us out. All 71 of you currently. Thank you for your support. And big shout outs to our Shepherd tier patrons, Kolkashins, Ed Boy, Aaron J, Kira C, Lieutenant Ticino, That Spectre J, and William. Thank you so much to all of you for your support and for being Shepherd tier patrons. And we don't have any new patrons this week, but if you'd like to join us for another episode kind of like this or get some of the other cool stuff on the Patreon, then make sure you go to patreon.com slash Mass Effect Lorecast and check out all the different stuff you can get. Also, if you leave a five star review, then we will read it out on a future episode of the show on iTunes or on Apple Podcasts. And we have one that came in from Admiral Freya from Great Britain who writes, I love this show. Hi guys, I'm not a podcast person, but I've been watching your show for a couple months now on YouTube and I'm just about caught up. I'm writing this right after watching the Lazarus Project episode. I just want to say during the control chip discussion, I was thinking, do I remember wrong? As I thought if you get friendly enough with Miranda in Mass Effect 2, she confesses the whole control chip thing to Shepard. Could be wrong, but anyway, great show you guys got. I've got, um, I've had many a laugh, and as a lore seeker in the games, I love hearing N7 The Legend state what he knows and compare it to my own knowledge and see if I missed anything. Robots makes me laugh so much, too. You guys inspire me to play yet another playthrough. Lost count between the original game runs and fresh starters I've had on Legendary Edition. But hey, it's Mass Effect, and I love it. Keep the episodes coming. Yeah, I think that's where the dialogue came from was when she opens up about that. But I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's where it does come from. So I think you are correct, correct, Freya. Um, but thank you for taking the time to do that. Also, if you leave us a rating on Spotify, that would be wonderful. Plus, there's the ability now to answer questions on Spotify, which are basically the same as commenting on episodes. And so if you'd like to leave us some positive comments about what you liked about the current episodes, the most recent one, like three or four or five, or have been updated so that you can, you can leave those. Uh, we'd love to see them. And uh, we're not going to read them out on the show because that would be like an entire show of us just reading stuff people commented but we very much do appreciate it so you have opportunities there to help us out and thanks so much to everybody who helps support the show all right let's move on with the rest of the trivia game here we go spit it out or are you trying to build suspense you're so dense sir obviously i do not know as much about human relationships as i thought all right here we go round two turbo do you have a question do we need to keep these written down or can we erase like uh so we have more room? You can erase the other ones as long as you keep your score. That's fine. Okay. As long as you know how many you got. Because at this point we're not many gonna go back. In this round? So the way yeah, the good question. The way we're gonna do this is there are five of you. I have eleven possible questions, and each of you is going to get to answer one for yourself. So that is potentially three point three hundred points that you can earn that nobody else can earn. But if you get it wrong, then everyone else has a chance to try to answer that question and claim 100 points for themselves. So it's better that you get it right because you get the points, plus you also keep them from getting the points for the question you missed. So in order to do this, we're going to start with, we've got either Jen or Turbo. Does anybody care who goes first, Jen or Turbo? Do you guys care? All right, I saw Jen go, eh. So we're gonna let Turbo go first. So Turbo, you get to pick between one and 11. Which one do you want to do? For your first question. 11. 11. Question number 11. Now, don't shout out the answers to anybody else. Turbo will have a minute to think through this. Turbo, you can think out loud, but then you have to give me a final answer. And if you are wrong, then everyone else, feel free to answer the question. Feel free to write the answer down while Turbo's thinking. And if you have written down the correct answer and he gets it wrong, then you get 100 points. So everybody can answer the question, but Turbo has to either succeed or fail for you to be able to try and actually get the points. So, Turbo, here's your question. Who is voiced by Tricia Helfer, who did similar work as a beautiful Cylon on Battlestar Galactica? Who is voiced by Tricia Helfer, who did similar work as a beautiful Cylon on Battlefield Galactica? Or Battlestar Galactica, not Battlefield. Battlestar Galactica. Oh, no. Turbo's covering his face. Turbo... You got to come up with an answer, buddy. You got to unmute yourself, too, so I can hear you. It's, it's going to be a guess. Oh, good God. Oh. Who do you think? Oh. oh. Who does your gut say? I, I'm going to do a wild, probably not even it. Uh, the DLC, Kasumi, was, was her name correct? Is that your answer? 
Yes, that's my answer. It's wrong. Incorrect. It is not Kasumi. <laughs> Everyone else, have you yep. written down your answers? Everyone else has their answers written down. Do you guys know who it is? Feel free to shout out an answer if you think you know. It's Ashley. Edie. It's Edie. It is Edie. Both of these were synthetic people at some point. That's the whole similar work as a beautiful Cylon. Oh. Yeah. I was coin flipping Edie and somebody else and wrote to somebody yep. else. Yep. She did Edie's voice. Um, so there you go. If you put down Edie, then you get 100 points. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, Jen, you get to pick one between one and 10. I'll go six. Number six. Here we go. Niftu Cal is a Volus who refers to himself by this powerful title. The Biotic God. That is correct. 300 points. Niftu Cal is the Biotic God. I had to include that one in there. I had, I had to have a Biotic God question. All right. Uh, who had the next? Now that I've already... Okay. Now that I've answered two questions, does that mean that I can't answer any other no. ones for points? No, you you will personally get a second question on the second round, on the second playthrough Got of these it. questions, right? Each of you will have your own two questions, and we'll just kind of go through in, in circles. Uh, so who was the next highest points? Was it Apollo? Jay? I had 11. I don't remember. 11. So I think it was, yeah, Jay. So Jay, you can pick between uh, 1 to 5 or 7 through 10. We'll go with Lucky 7. Lucky 7. The appearance of the Reapers is primarily based on which ancient race? It's going to be the Protheans through the Beacons. Is that your final answer? Yes. The Leviathan. Oh, I answered it. I, didn't, I shouldn't have answered it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Did you guys all write your answers down? All right. Yeah, I, broke I, I broke I'm, I'm a bad host. I broke my... It's the <laughs> Leviathans. If you wrote down Leviathans, you get 100 points. Yeah, it's the Leviathans. They're I the said one. that was... And that's embarrassing. I knew that one. Yeah, so that's how this stuff goes. Sometimes you're like, oh, wait, no. Oh, I knew that. No, it's not. No, it's not. All right. Who had the next highest amount of points? I think it was Apollo. Okay, Apollo, pick between one through five and eight, nine, or ten. I'll go four. Four. Ilium is a garden world and one of the youngest colonies of this race. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. That is correct. The Asari is correct. Good work. That's 300 points. Give yourself 300 points. All right, Ed, you're up. One, two, three, five, eight, nine, or ten. Uh, she want one. You want to do yeah. one? All right. First yeah. one. Which character can be described as having powerful biotics, a keen intellect, irresistible beauty, and is voiced by actress Yvonne Strahovski? Miranda. You are correct. That is right. Miranda is right. All right. Back to Turbo. What was that, Jay? She has a bunch of stuff on YouTube of like her um like her Saturday Night Live, not Saturday Night Live, but her talk show stuff. And it's funny, if you watch it, it is like you're sitting there listening to Miranda because not only is she the voice <laughs> actor, she's also the face actor for that as well. Yeah. So games have been doing that more and more as time has gone on where the, they will actually make the characters look a lot like the voice actors who play them, which is pretty cool. Turbo, it's back to you. You get your second chance here for 300 points. Which one do you want to do? You've got two, three, five, eight, nine, or 10. Nine. Number nine. Biotic amplifiers range from L1 to L what number? Everyone else write down your answers in case he doesn't get it. Biotic amplifiers range from L1 to L what number? I'm only going to do the only other one I can remember in my head. That's probably wrong in L2. It's wrong. Incorrect. Not L2. Yeah. Does anybody else know the answer to this? What did you guys write? L5. 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 Now, you all have a chance for this one happens to have a bonus point one point you got 100 points for getting this right you can get one singular extra point if you can tell me either of the two letters that comes after l5 l5x or l5xl because those are the ones that jack wants to implant so x is correct i did not see an xl when researching this but i did see another letter so you get a point for x does anybody else know the other letter Well, for guessing, I'm going to guess Z. 
No, not Z. Everyone can guess if you want. You can just throw out a letter if you want. I'm going to say N. N. J got it. N. N is correct. X nice. or N. Yeah. The if you if you look on the wikis, it has all of the different modules listed. And L5 is there's no just L5. There's L5X and L5N. Those are the two options. Now, maybe those are the only two in the certain ways that show up in certain things or something. I don't know. Sometimes there's limitations on that. So maybe there's an XL mentioned, but there's not one that actually has stats about it or something. But X or N are the two that I had. All right. Jen, your turn again. Your second question. You can pick from two, three, five, eight, or ten. Uh, let's go ten. Ten. What fan favorite character is voice acted by Brendan Keener? <laughs> <laughs> this guy here Garrison. <laughs> you are correct Garris Garris is the correct answer I thought it would be fun to have a number of voice actor questions on this because we like our voice actors a lot and they did such a good job so 300 points for that one congratulations over to Specter J J two three five eight those are your options let's go with number five number five in Morden's rendition of Gilbert and Sullivan, what three races does he mention that he has studied in the second line of the song? Can you play the song in your head? <laughs> That's really what this is about. <laughs> or you could just uh, guess three races. Yeah, it's, it's just, I'm going to have to guess three. Um, I'm going to have to say the... I'm going to have to say the Krogan, the... The Volison. Oh, what are the jellyfish? Big stupid jellyfish. Ah. Like, I'm doing no, my jellyfish I'm impression. Protheans. All right. That is incorrect. Who thinks they know? Anybody who writes all three of these down gets credit. Asari, Batarian, and Krogan? Close. Asari oh. and Batarian are part of it. Is it Asari, Asari. Krogan, and Turian? Turian. Turian, Asari, Batarian. Oh. The line goes in that order. Turian, oh, Asari, man. Batarian. I got them out of order, but I put Asari, Turian, Batarian. There you go. Then you get 100 points. Congratulations. Yeah, I wondered Jerry. how many of you would have this as like an earworm and be like, oh, wait, I know. I know. I am the very model of a scientist, Solarian. Right. It's because Batarian ra Solarian. rhymes with Solarian. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. Apollo, your second question. You can pick two, three, or eight. I'm going to go... I'm going to go eight. Eight. Ocho. Which character in the Mass Effect series is a powerful biotic with a tragic past and is voiced by actress Allie Hillis? I'm going to go with Jack. That is not correct. Oh, my goodness. Who else, who else has, has the answer on this? Then write your answers Can down. Can you repeat, repeat the question one more I'll time? I'll give you a second to write your answers down. Which character in the Mass Effect series is a powerful biotic with a tragic past and is voiced by actress Allie Hillis? Everybody's oh. thinking deeply on this one. All right, I'll give you three more seconds and then we got to pull up an answer. Three, two, one. Just jot something down. All right, who thinks you know? Liara. It is Liara. That is correct. Oh. First, and I wrote Samara. Yeah, that could have described a few of them, which was kind of fun. That was that one was kind of fun. Tragic. Just put Jack in my head, and I just yeah, it. yeah, biotic, I tragic. That works. Yeah. I don't know. Awesome. That could be her, right? But that's it, it didn't one hundred percent give it away, which is why it was a good hint, right? Um, all right, Ed. Last last one, two or three. Uh, let's do two. Two, which alien race originated from the rocky deserts on the barren world of Rakana? Oh my god, the name's escaping me. Uh, <laughs> that's always that's what my brain does all the time. I'm like, what is the what's the word? Elko. That is incorrect. So oh anybody else? Uh, everybody write Thomas. down your answers. Oh, I just remembered. Is Man. the name of the planet spelled R A N N O C H? No. Oh, okay. No, it is not. It's spelled R A K H A N A. Rakhana. Can we 
guess now. Everybody had a chance to write down your answers. All right. Now, yeah, go ahead and guess. The Rachni. The Nope. I what? guess correct either. I guess Orcha. No, that's not correct either. The Drell. Drell. The Drell. Oh, God. 100 points if you put Drell. <laughs> These are some it's of these the are tricky. Planet. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how I mixed the two up. Yeah, some of these some it, of these are tricky. All right, we have one isn't question that why left. They get that syndrome too because they go to the, wet, the from the dry to the wet. Yeah, yeah. We literally just did this in the medical episode. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the last question of this round. Everybody can get three hundred points if you get this right because it's the one outlier that nobody picked. Don't shout out your answers until until everyone's ready and then I'm going to tell you what the answer is or then you can all guess and I'll tell you what the right answer is which alien race are four-eyed bipeds native to the world of Karshan four-eyed bipeds native to the world of Karshan all right everybody written these down I see I still see some gears turning I've already written my answer down. I don't know if it's right, but I'm not going to second guess it. I'm doing too much of that. You just, yeah, sometimes you just got to go with it, you know? Yeah, Dances, Dances with Kitty says, are there many biotic capable persons in Mass Effect without tragic backstories? Probably not. Uh, that describes almost all of them. All right. You guys have your answers down. Who wants to guess? What do you think? I put the Vorcha. Not the Vorcha. Close, though. Oh. Batarians? Batarians. Batarians. Yes, the uh, Batarians. My second wrote down the Protheans first. It's the Batarians. So add up your points. Add up the first round. Add up any of the ones that you got. That If you got the one on your turn, that was 300 points. If you guessed one that somebody else had, that's 100 points for those. Do a total. We'll see what you, what you came to. And uh, chat, this is fun. You guys chime and stuff in here. I like, I like all the, the guesses and and comments all right math who, who knew you had to do math in this show i'm gonna have to find an app that i can put these on so you can just kind of answer all the questions on the app and then it'll just add it up for us all right that's the one thing i'm bad at <laughs> so who has who has your score jen 1201 1201 for j 17 oh ed, ed sorry sorry we'll just go in order ed uh 1700 1700 oh, no. nice apollo I'm at 1,800 now. 1,800. Jen? 2,301. Wow. Wow. That might be the tiebreaker if somebody else matches that score. Uh, and Turbo, what are you at? I get 18,000. 1,800? Not, probably not 1,000. I don't think there's that many points yet. Um, awesome. Okay. Here we go. Hey, quick question. Yeah. If we got them right, even though that the person, it was like so, if, like, if Jen the other person down. got it right, you can't steal the points. Okay, so you don't get the 100 points even if you wrote it down correct. Right. So the oh. only way to get 100 extra points was if the fir- person whose question it was got it wrong. You can still try and guess, but if they got okay. it wrong, then you would get the 100 points if you got it right. I do my math wrong. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah, just go ahead and update it. Um, thanks for checking. All right. This is the final round. Final, final round. Ooh. It's the final countdown. Uh, All right. All right. Here's the final round. This is one question with multiple answers. You do not lose points for getting wrong answers. You only get points for getting answers that are on the list. So you can put down everything that comes to mind. And then I'm going to go through the list of answers. And then you can check off the ones that you got right. So I would recommend just listing as many as you possibly can in order to get as many as you as you can right so here's the question and i'm going to give you a moment to think through this and uh and write down everybody that you can come up with and when i say everybody that it's kind of a clue what the question is about i would like you to list all of the potential team members in mass effect 3 everybody who can be a team member in Mass Effect 3. So just I have a question. Yeah, go go for it. DLC included. Yes. Yes. DLC is included. So any potential team member in Mass Effect 3, all the names. 
and uh, I'm gonna give you a minute. I if you are if you are playing along at home, I hope you <laughs> hope you're not driving a car trying to write this stuff down. But if you uh, if you are answering all these questions. Add up your points because I would love to see if anybody listening, you know, at home or whatever this week uh, can beat whoever wins this here, whoever our patron winner is. That would be really cool. And chat, if you if you guys are playing along, too, I'd love to see what your total is at the end of this. And um, I have to I'll share Sam's stuff in order to give you guys a few extra moments here. Uh, if you want to check out Sam's stuff, uh, his playthroughs, he's been playing Neutral Shepherd, all of that stuff. Go to N7 The Legend on on Twitch and check out his streams. I'm sure there's a schedule there with all the different times that he'll be streaming. And um, if you are interested in my stuff, then joining us live at twitch.tv slash robots radio is where I do all of my live shows, including including this one on on Fridays. We're doing this one late. It's uh, it's after 9 p.m. because we're doing our patron chat. But normally we do the shows around 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific on Fridays. So we'd love to have you come join us. And um, if you are interested in any of the other shows on the network, there's a bunch of different shows on Robots Radio, other shows that I do, other shows that some of our awesome hosts do. And you can check those all out at uh, robotsradio.net. If you're looking for other podcasts, including other Mass Effect shows and other lots of other video game podcasts and lore shows and stories and all sorts of fun things so lots of stuff out there all right how's it going everybody i see the writing is slowing down and the wheels are still turning can you give us how many there are or would that give it away no No. i'm not going to give you a total number because that will make you feel like oh well now i have more to do no and we're only talking people that like when you leave the ship you have that little screen. That's what we're talking, right? We're talking about anybody who can be a potential team member, somebody who you can take with you on a journey. Not just people who, like there are people who just are on your ship sometimes, but they're not actual like team members. They're not one of the three people that go out on the missions together. These are team members. And so even if they only go on one mission, they still count as a team member. Everybody's thinking. All right, I give you one more, does, one does more this minute. Include the Citadel DLC. This includes this includes all the DLC. Okay. Anybody in Mass Effect Three, any of the DLCs. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Wait, you don't mean like in Citadel DLC that we can go talk to them? Like they actually have to be able to go on a mission. Yep. They can't be somebody who was like a team member from a previous game that doesn't go on a mission in this game, I believe. Or the better way to state this is if you were to if you were to just pull up the wiki and look at the list of team members for each game. These are the people listed as team members. These are people who I believe are listed as people who are able to join you on missions, people who are who work like companions in a video game. Right. Like they aren't just. Like, for, for example, uh, um, oh, see, now names are falling out of my head. Uh, like, just because you talk to another NPC who, like, regularly doesn't mean that they are a team member. All right. We're going to have to go through it. Time's up. Are you ready? Everybody ready? No. <laughs> Turbo's shaking his head. No. Good All question. Right. Yes, question. I have one written down. I can't remember the name, but it's it's just a broad statement. I don't know if that's going to count. <laughs> you have to know their names. You got uh, you got to know their names. All right. Let's go through the list. I'm going to just How many points is each one of these worth? Okay, again? so each one of these is worth 500 points. So if you get a whole bunch of these, then I could win you the game. All right, here we go. I'm going to just go down the list and you guys can comment or check these off as, as we go. So, Caden Alenko, first on the list. I got that one. You got that one. Or Ashley Williams, depending. You can't have both, but you could have one or the other, depending on your playthrough. They're both possible. So Ashley Williams is the second one. Everybody got that one? Everyone is like, yeah, you know, yes, maybe. Javik. Our, our Ashley and Caden 
counted as like the same team they're, member? They're separate? not counted no. as the same. They're separate they're individuals. Okay. But okay. even though you can't have them in the same playthrough, they're separate individuals. Uh, okay. So, so they're each, were, each of them is worth 500 points. Uh, Javik, number three. The next one is Tally. Liara. Everybody so far? How's this going? Yeah? Okay, okay. Garrus. Garrus. Can't forget Garrus. James Vega. Edie. Aria Talak. Oh, I saw, I saw some reactions there. Oh, no. Some people I forgot, forgot Aria. Yeah. All right. Nirene Kandros. Yep. Did you get her? All right. Erdnot Rex. You don't have to have the full name as long as you wrote just Rex. That's probably fine. Miranda Lawson, if you want the full name. You can have her as a teammate. Right? I don't think you actually get her a squad selection. You can't change her weaponry. It was on the list, but if nobody wrote it, then it doesn't yeah, matter because nobody got points. Can you it. ever change Rex's weaponry either? That's why. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100% He's sure. Still assigned. It, but she is on the list. But again, she was on the wiki, and Sam reviewed this. So I wrote her because you said it didn't count if we got it wrong. So I'll take. So if you wrote her, I mean, it, it shows up on the wiki as a teammate specifically. So I, I personally didn't have her in my squad, but I don't know. Is that the Citadel DLC? I don't. We'll have to look no, it up. Yeah. Yeah, even in Citadel DLC, she you can't assign her stuff. She doesn't go on any missions with you. I don't Not think. Alone? Doesn't she? She shows up. She's on the field. And I feel like she was in the field. Even if you couldn't assign weapons, she ends up as part of your group or something. I don't remember. Well, yeah, you can go on oh. dates and stuff with her. No. But you can't like pick her to go it's, onto your squad. Does, it, doesn't she help? like help you track down someone like her like don't you help her for like it's like one mission she's like she's like a npc on your team though she takes up a spot she thought she does she's, yeah, already, there. No, she's already there when you go after her sister. so like, you find her there so that yeah. official list may be including the combat simulator from citadel oh wow you could have all kinds of uh squad mates <laughs> have everybody that you've yeah. ever played with, with the combat yeah because i think There's even jack is available on that yeah mm -hmm. and grunt. that's true and yeah jack and, and jack is out in the field with you even if uh, she's not in your squad um yeah so uh how do we want to do this do you guys feel like it's fair if we give points for miranda because if we give points for miranda we also have to give points for jack well did anybody put miranda down I did not. I did because he said to just write names, but that's why I asked specifically <laughs> if it was from the people on your yeah, loadout. This is this is where this stuff gets. Yeah, screen. this is where this stuff gets a little yeah. bit tricky. Um, well, let's not do it because then we have to include Jack. So let's all right. take her off. All right. Anybody okay. else you don't think should be included? I mean, I guess, uh, let's let's just go through the list because um, the list includes Jack and Grunt, so we're not going to give points for them either. Uh, Jacob is on the list. Yeah. No. Samara. This, those are. Mm -hmm. and Zaid and Kasumi they're all on the list so none of those count so it ends with Rex so Rex is the only one the last one that counts so we've got Caden, Ashley, Javik, Tally, Liara, Garrus, James, Edie, Arya, Nirene and Rex well you're missing two who else isn't there in the Leviathan DLC you have Cortez as a squad mate on the ship because he crashes. He's not part of the loadout screen. You can't select him as a squad mate or give him weaponry. Oh, fair enough. Well, and yeah, then so he doesn't. is that Cerberus girl in the... Cerberus um, girl? Yeah, the one that tries to warn Shepard. Or the spy. Because you huh? have to take her on the casino mission. I know who you're talking about, but oh, I, I don't think she gets a loadout either. Yeah, no, Brooks doesn't. doesn't get a loadout. No. Does, when no. does Brooks get a loadout? No, she does not. Yeah, so you let's just yeah. let's let's keep it to let's keep it to those ones on the list. So let, let's go with that because that does sound the most fair. So Caden, Ashley, Javik, Tally, Liara, Garrus, James, Edie, Arya, Nirene, and Rex. Mm -hmm. Did anybody when get all Brooks of them? Get a loadout? Why am I forgetting that? 
Jen says she got all of them. And the only other person that I had was Anderson because you do assign him points and give him loadout at the beginning right of the, at the, the beginning mission. Wow. Oh, yeah. See, this yeah. is where this stuff is a little funny, right? Like technically I maybe back to beat Genesis. She like knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for uh, your patience on trying to figure that out. I was like, this should be pretty easy. Each of those should count. And then, but you're right. Some of them, Eh, not really okay but we're gonna go with these ones and jen you got 500 points for each of those so i think you're probably the winner how many points did you end up with uh i that's big math that's big math um, so we've got let's see one, two, one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so eleven that's five thousand five hundred points just for the final round plus whatever else you had before dun 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 what scores are you guys up to Six thousand seven hundred. Six thousand seven hundred for Ed. Apollo, what did you end up with? Sixty three hundred. Sixty three hundred. Jay? I got six thousand eight hundred. Six thousand eight hundred for Turbo. Jay? I don't want to answer. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I got five thousand seven hundred. Five thousand seven hundred. That's, that's pretty good. That's not bad. And then Jen, you're at what, seven thousand something? Eight thousand? Seven thousand eight hundred and one. Nice, congratulations, bragging rights. It took three times of Mass Effect trivia in order for me to win. Yay! <laughs> you did it. Congratulations. I'm just glad I placed. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about the Aria whole mission in Mass Effect Three. I can't believe yeah. I forgot that. That was an awesome mission. I remember I don't the kiss. Bad. I forgot too. <laughs> you remember the kiss? That's the only reason I got her is because I remember the kiss. Because it's like, <laughs> like it's like it, it's like all the people Shepard has that, and that's why I remembered. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, thank you for playing, everybody. This was fun. I but who was uh that the Nell Naria? Who is that? I don't remember her. Irene. 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 Who is she? So on that do on that do. Bleh. On that DLC, there's Arya and her girlfriend, the Turian. The oh, female. oh, that's who she is. I could not remember her name. Oh, yeah, she's pretty cool looking too. Um, I hit Turian girl. I didn't remember Turian her name. girl. Yeah, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Oh, all right. Well, let's go back through and feel free to share anything you've got going on. If you're working on projects or doing content creation or something else you want to shout out, feel free to do that. Otherwise, you can just say, you know, hey, thanks for being here. This is how you can reach out to me on the Discord or whatever. Ed, let's start with you. Uh, I'm just hanging around the Discord. Anyone wants to talk about Mass Effect, Dragon Age, whatever. I'm I'm Zoe. All right. Yeah. Look up Ed Boy. There you go. Thanks, Ed. And then Apollo. I don't have anything going on right now, but by the time Last of Us 2 comes out on TV, I am going to do a podcast because I have about 400 million things to say. Wow, nice. Well, good luck with that. That's awesome. Spectre J? Nothing really, man. I'm just hanging out on the Discord. I do uh, Mass Effect wood burnings and stuff on the side. Very cool. Very cool. Have you done anything particularly notable lately? Um, Not lately. Christmas last year, I did a... Uh, wood burning of Rex. It was for my uncle. He's a big Mass Effect fan. It's his favorite quote of the whole game is from Mass Effect 1. It's where the cops are trying to arrest Rex. He's like, do you want us to arrest you? And it's like, I want you to try. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, share some pictures of those if you if you get a chance. Uh, I'm sure there'd be Absolutely. people would love to see them. Yeah. Jen, I know you've got some stuff. I do. I have two shows that are also part of the network. Uh, the Cyberpunk Lorecast, where we talk everything cyberpunk between Toasty and I. And then Two Girls, One Ship, where we talk Mass Effect, or not just Mass Effect, but we talk all different kinds of video game romances. We're currently doing Mass Effect romance. Uh, last week, our episode was about Miranda and Jacob. Oh. And I am here in defense of Jacob Taylor. So please right. go give it a listen. Oh no, Ed's giving it a thumb down. A thumbs down. Well, you guys are going to have to argue that off. Just, uh, just Jacob. Off just show. Jacob. <laughs> She's not a Jacob fan. All right. Well, yeah, go check it out. And if you're if you're looking for easy ways to find links, robotsradio.net has links to Jen's shows and a bunch of other stuff. So go go check that out. And then Turbo, you got anything going on? I never have anything going on, but <laughs> uh, you can find me on Discord. 
Nice. Well, thank you for joining us again. And congratulations again to Genesis for winning. You get bragging rights. You get to rub everybody else's noses in it or whatever the phrase is. And uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Chat, thank you for being here. And we'll be back next week with a regular episode. Hopefully Sam's feeling better. And we'll see you then. Until then, stay safe out there in the galaxy. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Mass Effect Lorecast. We'd love to hear your opinion and thoughts on the lore of Mass Effect. Reach out to us on Twitter at Mass Effect Cast or check out the Robots Radio Discord. Also, you can send us an email at Mass Effect Lorecast at gmail.com.